Okay, now we're going to talk about quantifiers. So what is a quantifier? A quantifier specifies how many individuals satisfy the given statement. There are two kinds of quantifier, the universal quantifier and the existential quantifier. Universal quantifier specify, specifies that all individuals satisfy the given statement. Uh, in contrast, existential quantifier specifies that at least one individual, maybe more, satisfy the given statement. Typically, you will see keywords such as for all, for any, or for every. When you uh, see these key phrases, this means uh, that a universal, that statement has a universal quantifier. And uh, the keyword for, or key phrases rather, for existential quantifier, sometimes you see there exist, or you can also see, uh, for instance, for some. Okay. We're going to call a statement with universal quantifier to be universal statement and a statement with existential quantifier to be existential statement, just for sure. Okay, let's give uh, some example. I'm gonna write the example in uh, black ink, maybe here, example, of a uh, universal statement or statement with a uh, universal quantifier for all uh, natural number n, Uh, n is odd, implies n squared is odd. Or rather, maybe write, if n is odd, then n squared is odd. Okay, that's an example. Example of an existential statement, um, maybe like this, there exists a um, real number that is not rational. This is a true statement. Square root of two is an, is an, is an example. Okay. Okay, you can also actually combine quantifiers. So um, one famous example is um, the following. Uh, that f be a function from a to b. Okay. Uh, we say that f is injective. Uh, actually, I want surjective. <laughs> Excuse me. f is surjective if for any y in b, there exists x in a such that f of x is equal to y. This is the definition of subjectivity. So you see here there's for any and there exists. Uh, there are other instances uh, like formal definition of a limit. You will also see uh, this kind of form. For any, there exists. Okay. And the order matters. The order of this quantifier matters, right? When you combine them, you not it's not necessarily uh, true that you can swap the order of quantifiers. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate with an example. Okay, so I'm going to write the following statement. All people are married. Okay, let's forget about whether this is true or false. Um, maybe, maybe false, right? Because surely there are people who are not married. Um, but you can write, rewrite this uh, statement with quantifiers. How do we write this? We say that for all uh, persons P, if um, rather the following, there exists, there you go, there exists uh, a person Q such that uh, P is married to Q. Right. Okay. So this is this is um, how we write it in this for all there exists form. Okay. Suppose now we're gonna swap the quantifiers. Let's write the following. There exists a person P such that for all uh, persons Q, P is married to Q. Right? The meaning is completely different. There's, there exists a person P such that for all persons Q, P is married to Q. That statement says that everyone is married to P, right? Well, really not the meaning of the original uh, sentence that we write. So don't swap quantifiers. Please be careful with this. Okay.
Let's get back to an example that we did in one of the previous videos. What is the negation of the statements, all cats are black? We actually already written down um, in, that, uh, in that example um, to say that it is not true that all cats are black. Uh, you just need to, to say that or there are some cats, there are some cats that are not black, right? Maybe they are gray or, or, or uh, yellow or whatever. Okay, so let's uh, unpack this and write them carefully with quantifiers so that we can see how do we negate statements with quantifiers, right? Um, so for all cats P, P is black. This is the original statement written using properly using quantifier, right? And the negation of this, its negation, is uh, there exists a cat P such that P is not black. Okay, so it seems that a um, few things happening here, right? The quantifier for all the universal quantifier, after negating it, changes to an existential quantifier and the statement that it's quantified has changed to the negation, okay? And indeed, this is um, a ge the general rule of negating statements with quantifiers. So, when you negate statement like this for all objects, uh, O say, O satisfies property P, yeah? Um, the negation of this is there exists Uh, an object O such that O does not satisfy P. And similarly, to negate a uh, statement, uh, existential statement, uh, let's say there exists an object O such that uh, such that O satisfies P. This is the same by saying that, uh, oops, for all uh, objects O, uh, O satisfies not P. Satisfies not P. Okay? So, um, again, the general rule is change for all to their exist, change their exist to for all, and negate the statement that... Um, that is quantified. And that's all I have to say about uh, quantifiers. Of course, you can get a really complex um, statement with many, many quantifiers uh, all being um, uh, combined in every which way, but we're not gonna go too much into that in this video. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to talk about how to prove things how to prove implication, how to prove statements with quantifiers and all that. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.